now we're going along Suffern Lane and we're heading again towards Port Island. We're going towards Southfields Drive this time, that's the A563. So we're just moving ourselves into the left hand lane uh, as we have just come past the bus lane. So now we can get into that left lane now. The traffic moves on. I don't think we're going to get through these lights first time, but let's just have a look and see. We're turning left towards Southfields Drive, and actually, this time we might be lucky and we've got through the lights, just made it into Southfields Drive. I'm going to cancel the signal here because of this junction on the left. Okay, so here we are, we're on uh, Saffron Lane and we're heading off now towards Stonesby Avenue. And Stonesby Avenue is the second exit. So we're just waiting at the traffic lights here and uh, we're gonna see where that takes us then. Let's just see. So the lights ahead are changing and that means that our lights should change again uh, fairly soon, let's just see. They do seem to take a long time. <laughs> there we are, any second now. So it's going to be Saffron Lane, uh, Port Pie Island, second exit for Wigston, which is Stansby Avenue. Staying in the left lane, checking left mirrors, indicating the left, and coming off uh, along here. Someone just nearly crashed on that roundabout then, just trying to push him. <laughs> there you go, I don't know if you saw that, but there you are. So here we are, we're on Saffron Lane and we're heading towards the uh, Port Pie Island. And we're going to take the road that takes us to South Wigston. Now if you look on our left, there's a bus lane. And that's a 24 hour bus lane that's always in operation, so we can't go into that. But we do need the left lane as we approach the island. So I'm just going to pause around about here so that when the traffic moves on, I can then move into the left lane. Can't do that yet. Um, you see the, the kind of van in front of us, he's got his back wheels on there. I mean, that's fine for him. He's okay, but we, we're going to stay out of the bus lane. And you'll see when he moves on, it will say, it will say uh, end. And that's where the bus lane ends. Someone snuck in beside us as well. So as you move forward now, you need to check your left door mirror just to make sure there's nobody there. We can move into that left lane. Now we're approaching the island itself and we're heading off towards South Wigston, uh, which is ends up being Saffron Way which then leads on to Tigers Road where the test centre is. So we're very, very close to the driving test centre here for South Wigston. So we just wait for the lights to change and then we can move on. There was a time when these lights were here and um, I'm not sure that it was any better or any, any easier or more difficult to go around this island uh, with or without the lights. It's, uh, it's one of those really, it kind of makes a queue, doesn't it, sometimes? And it's, it's formed a queue here. These red lights have formed a queue. So it's six of one and a half dozen the other, I suppose. But here we are. Because our lights are green, we know we can move on to the island. And we're looking for the lane that says South Wigston, and here it is, South Wigston. And that means we're going to follow that around and we're going to move all the way to the outside, just letting everybody know where we're going. And there we are, it's a very, very simple one. So that's Saffron Lane to Saffron Way, South Wigston. Here we are, then we're on Saffron Lane, we're on, uh, and we're heading towards a Port Pie Island. Uh, we're in the right hand lane because we're going towards uh, Glen Hill Way. And Glen Hill Way is A563, so that's the signs or the road markings that we'll be looking for. 
And again, as we go around the roundabout, it will give us a choice of two lanes, which both say the A563, and we will be choosing the left-hand one of those two. So the lights are on red at the moment, and uh, they should turn to green any second now, and then we can move on. It always seems like it's a long time. Actually, it's only a few seconds. <laughs> so bear with, as uh, what the name says on the telly, bear with. Here we are. That's it. So we're moving into the uh, lane next to the island. As you can see, it says A563. And just here, it starts to spiral out. And we will spiral out with it. And we'll go into the left-hand one of the two options here. Turn right. And that will take us off of the uh, roundabout into the left-hand lane. Um, as we enter into the A563, which is the Glen Hills Way. So here we are on Saffron Lane, and uh, we're going to turn right, the fifth exit, to Wigston Lane. So we're going to go all the way round the roundabout. There's uh, five exits, there's three roads, three kind of main roads that meet all up here. And that means that the, the very last turn is the fifth exit, and we're going to take that one, it's going to take us into Winston Lane. Now we see the lights are on red and we're in the right hand lane as we approach uh, this junction. Because we're in the right hand lane here, we're going to move directly into the lane which is next to the island. And as we go around the island, we'll be looking for uh, road markings that say Wigston Lane and it will be WIG, WIG, and then LN for lane. So it will be uh, WIG, LN. And that's what we'll be looking for and these uh, lights should change any second now so again we'll just patiently wait for that to happen i suppose we're going to impatiently wait as well really as long as we wait that's the main thing i suppose whether you're patient or impatient and i, I suppose it doesn't make a lot of difference we're just going to wait for the lights to change Again, you're not going to go around this roundabout without getting caught by the lights at some point, so we just have to, you know, come to terms with that really. Here we go. So we're on the uh, extreme right lane here, which is the one next to the island, and as we follow it out, uh, we're going to keep in that right hand lane because here is where it says Wig LN and then we're going to follow this lane, we're going to stay in the lane that says Wig LN and follow that around and again we're going to get caught by the lights and that's fine again isn't it because we can see dead in front of us now is where Wigston Lane actually is and it's signposted for Aylston and now uh, we can see that sign as well uh, these lights should change fairly soon and make it very easy for us to get off of the roundabout. There you go, I'm just going to let everybody know that we're turning left at this one and that takes us into Wigston Lane. So we're on Saffron Way now and we're coming, we've come away from the test centre. We're coming down towards um, the Port Pie Island and you can see that I haven't gone into the bus lane. I've stayed out of there, but I am going to turn left at the roundabout, taking the first exit to Glen Hills Way. I'm going to wait to make sure that I'm clear of the bus lane and check my left door mirror before I move over into the left lane. Also, there's a cycle lane there, which disappears off into up the path, but we've got to imagine that the cyclist hasn't seen that, that it's disappeared off to the path, and he might still come up the inside of the car. So as we move forward, uh, from here, when the lights do go to green, we're going to be checking that left door mirror again and making sure that no cyclists have kind of tried to creep up our inside there. Uh, it, I mean, it's very rare, but if we check the mirror, we'll make sure that we don't never ever get caught out in that way. 
So anyway, here we are. We're just waiting for the lights to turn to green, and we're taking the first exit into um, a Glen Hills Way. So checking the left door mirror, seems to be clear. We can see it's okay for us to move in. That takes us into Glen Hills Way. Please do check that mirror um, if you're on your test there because um, you, your examiner will be looking for it. So now we're on Saffron Way and we're approaching the Port Pie Island. And we're gonna take the second left the second left is uh, Wigston Lane. Okay, so where I, you can see again that I haven't gone into the bus lane, even though I'm turning left and that's the left lane. I'm going to wait until I'm clear of the bus lane, which is about now. I'm going to check my left mirror, signal for left, and move into the left lane. So, car behind us needed to let him know. Now, our lights are on uh, uh, amber and red now, and you can see that I've turned the indicator back off again because I'm not taking the first exit, I'm taking the second exit. So I'm gonna get level with the first exit and then I'm gonna signal again. So as you can see, if you look forward from here, you can actually see Wigston Lane from here and it's signposted for Aylston. And that's where we're going down that one. So it's the second exit. And uh, as we've been filming this today, these traffic lights, these red lights, have become a real feature. <laughs> so, <laughs> they seem to be one to catch us all the time. Still, never mind, there you go. may change in a few seconds. Ah, oh, there they go, that's it. All right, so we're going straight ahead. Well, we're going second left, but the car's moving straight ahead uh, past the first left. So mirrors and signal again. And here we go, we're going off on the second left, which is Wixton Lane, signposted for Halston. Here we are, we're coming uh, along the second way towards the Pai Island and uh, we are now going to go to Sapman Lane which is uh, straight ahead but it's actually the third exit and because of that we're going to need to be in that left hand lane so I'm just going to plop myself in there there's nowhere no one trying to push in there so I'm just going to move into that left lane and there we are and now we're just going to wait for the lights to change and uh, that's going to take us into Saffron Lane it is the third exit the first one is um, Glenelg's Way, uh, that's A563. The second one is Wigston Lane, and that's the one that takes you to Aylston. And the third one is Saffron Lane, and that's the one that takes you to the city centre. And it will say city on the road. Um, so that's what we're looking out for. But we're here, we are here in the left hand of these two lanes. And when we move on to the island itself, we will stay in the left hand of the two lanes and that will take us exactly to where we want to be. And we can see now that the traffic's moving forward and it says city on the road. So we're just gonna follow this lane through. The lorry's turning left first exit and uh, we're now gonna pass uh, along the second exit here and the third exit is here. So we're gonna just indicate now that takes us off and down towards the city centre uh, along Saffron Lane. So here we are, we're on uh, Saffron Way and uh, again we're coming away from the te uh, driving test centre down towards the Port Pie Island and we're going to take the one, two, three, third exit to uh, Southfields Drive which is the A563. Oh, is it the third or fourth one? two, three, fourth exit in actual fact. So Southfields Drive, it's the A563. So we'll be looking on the road surface itself and we'll be following the, the uh, road markings that, A, that say A563. And uh, again, we will have a choice of two at some point. So we're gonna choose the left-hand option. Let's turn this indicator off. I don't want people to think I'm changing lanes. 
So we'll come around here and we can see the outer line of the lane there. We're going to follow that out and around. And then at the last moment, we're going to steer in A563 to Southfields Drive. Um, and uh, that's as easy as that. And you end up with the Pork Pie Library on your right. There we are on Saffron Way. And we're going to turn right then at the Pork Pie Island. It's going to be the fifth exit. Uh, towards Wigston and uh, we're just coming away from the test centre now and we're coming down to the island here you see they're going to green for us that's about the first time that's happened you know, the whole uh, amount of this uh, filming but we're going to keep in this um, in this lane near to the island itself we're going for Wigston uh, and as we come around here we'll see that on the road it says Wigston and then it will kind of spiral to the outside where the red car has just gone and we're just going to follow that red car around so when we get to here you can see there's a green sign in front of us and this is where we will turn in to the right where it will take us along uh, Stonesby Avenue and into uh, Wigston itself so it shouldn't take too long for these lights to change now and uh, when they do we can move on there they go they're changing now so as we come round we're just going to take ourselves away from the roundabout there and that takes us into Stonesby Avenue like I say up towards Wigston it said Wigston on the road